Hi, Picnic Go here. Today, we are learning about the solar system. What's the solar system? It's where we live. What, we live in the solar system? I thought we lived on planet Earth. Yeah, we do, in the solar system. Right, so are you saying that the solar system's got more planets in it? Yes, of course. Do people live on these other planets? Uh, we don't know. We don't know? Yeah, we don't know. How do we not know? Well, nobody actually knows. Okay, okay, that's, that's, I never knew that. I thought that. What about aliens? Do aliens live on these planets? Uh, we, we actually don't know. Right, okay, so what you're basically telling us is that mm -hmm. although there's how many other planets? Eight. So there's eight planets, but we don't know if there's anybody living on any of these planets. Yeah, we don't know if anybody's living on the planets. All right, okay. So what are the names of these planets? Mercury. Mercury, okay. So Mercury. What's so special about Mercury? Well, it's the smallest planet in the solar system and it's the closest to the sun. Closest to the sun? That must yeah. get very hot then, does it? It's the second hottest planet in the solar system. The second hottest planet? Yes, it's the same. Even though it's right next to the sun, it's the second hottest planet? Yeah. So... Okay, so is there anything else about Mercury that we should know? Isn't Mercury one of the elements? Isn't it a metal? I think Mercury has, like, materials and stuff. Okay, no problems. Right, so, if Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, what is the second most planet? closest to planet to the sun. Venus. Venus. That looks a bit bigger than Mercury, actually. Yeah, it is. It looks very similar in, like, in shape. and. Yeah, because every single planet, like Mercury, is a sphere. Right, it's okay. Ah, oh, that makes sense now. But if it's a circle... Anyway, we'll get back to that. So, Right, okay, so Mercury. Tell me what you know about... Sorry, about Venus. What Venus. Kind of, what kind of planet is Venus? The hottest planet in the solar system. So that's the second furthest away, yet yeah, it's the second hottest planet. It's the first hottest. Sorry, I'm getting confused now. Why is it the hottest planet then? Because it has 96 times thicker atmosphere than Earth. Really? Yes, it does. So that would mean, would it make it impossible for us to breathe? Yes. Could humans live on this planet? Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Okay. Is there anything else interesting about Venus? Hmm, probably no. Probably no. Okay, no problem. Right, in that case then, what is the third planet? Okay then, Earth. Where Earth? do you live? Hold That's on, me. hold on, hold on. Isn't Earth missing something? Us. Isn't there something that flies around the Earth? Aha, it's the moon. Right, so is that actually two planets then? No, Earth's moon. Is a moon. Oh, right. So I is take it, it that the moon isn't classed as a planet. Yeah, the moon isn't classed as a planet. Oh, well. And like, oh, we live right about here. Right, okay. So tell me some things about Earth then. So it's 95% water. That is a lot of water. I know. And the rest of it is just land. Wow. So tell me some things about the land. How much land is there? Well, I think it's about 25% earth land, 25% land. Right, so it's 25% land and 75% water. So what about the continents? Is it continents or where do people live? They live in continents and they eat... How many continents are there? Hmm. There are eight continents, seven continents. So how many continents are there? Seven. Seven continents, okay. Can you name them all? I bet you can't. Where do we live? In Europe. Right, okay, so Europe. And then what about every other one then? So we've got one continent in Europe. What about the other continents? So North America, South America, Asia, Africa, Australia, and the South Pole. Right, okay, is that seven? Mm hmm. Do we count them all? So we've got Australasia, where Australia is. We've got Europe, where we live. Mm. We've got Africa. We've got North America. Yeah, we're correct. South America. This is Europe. This Asia. And Antarctica. Is that correct? Yeah. 
So seven continents, wow. And do people live on every single one of these continents? No. Why? A couple of scientists live on Antarctica. Why is that? To study Antarctica. So why don't more people live on Antarctica? Because it's freezing. Freezing? Yes, yeah, freezing. You mean it's colder than when it's winter in England? Yes, definitely. Okay. No, I won't. And including the North Pole as well. So there's a North Pole and a South Pole? Yeah. So there are actually eight continents. Wow, okay. So why why is there a North and a South then? Why do they have ice on the top of the earth and on the bottom of the earth? Well, my understanding, I don't know really. My understanding, I don't know. Is it because they don't face the sun that much? Oh yes, it is. They don't face the sun as much as like the middle, the equator. So how many people do we think are living on these continents? Well, all together. All together is 8.4 billion, no, 8 billion. 8 billion people live eight. on planet Earth. Yeah. That seems like a rather and the large number. billionth person was born in the Philippines. Really? Yes. Oh my days, I didn't know that. So, if there's 8 billion people, is that number going to get bigger or smaller? Bigger. Bigger? Yeah. Where are all these people going to live? Maybe on a different planet. Right, okay, then shall we move? So, Tom, before we move on... Mm-hmm. Why is Earth different to all the other planets? Because it has water on it. It has water. But why is it that this has humans on it and Mercury and Venus don't have any humans living there? Because Mercury because Mercury is close to the sun. Yes. And Venus has 96 times Earth's atmosphere. Right, okay. So, forgive me for this, but isn't there a thing called some kind of zone? Where Earth is in, that means we can have life? The habitable zone. The habitable zone, that's or, the one. Or the Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone. And do they call so, it that because? It's where planets can get water and have humans on. Right, okay. So this is all very interesting, isn't it? So, I know. So, right, okay. And Earth has an atmosphere, does it not? Earth does have an atmosphere. Right, it's okay. So, let's move on to the next planet then. This one, I think, is my favourite planet. So, can you tell me what the next planet is? Mars. Mars has flown away. Oh, no. So, Mars, right here, has two moons. Well, asteroids captured from the asteroid belt. Really? Yeah. Right. They're called Phobos and Deimos. Phobos and Deimos? Yes. That, oh my, I didn't know that. And they're from the asteroid belt? Yeah, in a couple billion years, Phobos sort of crashed into Mars and made rings around it. What, like Saturn? Yeah. Wow, that looked cool, wasn't it? Yeah. So, it's a red planet, is that correct? Yes, it is a red planet. Right, okay. Isn't that where the aliens live? Well, if there were aliens, they'll probably will. Right, okay. And I know, didn't... Didn't NASA send a, some kind of spaceship there recently? It's like a rover. A rover? What's that rover doing? Going around the surface of Mars. Right, okay. Do you know what the rover's called? No. I don't really know. Oh, it's something we're going to have to find Curiosity? out then, isn't it? Curiosity? Yeah, possibly. I think that's one. Right, okay. What about, is the water on Mars? Well, really used to. They used to be? Billions and billions of billions of years ago. Right, okay. So is that around about when your nano was born? No. No? M- like trillions more back. <laughs> oh, right, so it is a very long but time. But it has the tallest mountain. You can guess what it is? What's the name? Can we... I'll give you three seconds. Do people have to put it in the comments? Uh, yes. Okay, so, what is it? It's Olympus Mons on Mars. Olympus Mons on Mars. I've never heard of that before. Okay, so there's a, this really rich fella who lives on planet Earth. And he's, is, am, I, am I right in thinking he wants to go to Mars? Yes, it's Elon Musk. Elon Musk, that's the one. He's got lots of money and he owns Tesla, doesn't he? Yes, and Twitter. And Twitter. Yeah, and he wants to get from Earth 
to Mars. Right, okay. And so and is that likely to happen? Hmm, probably. Probably. And does we he... don't, I don't know. I'm sure I heard somewhere that he wanted to colonise Mars. Yes, he does. So he wants people to live there. Well, he wants Mars to be like Earth with water on it. Right, okay. <laughs> that, yeah, I mean, that, you, you, I am astounded. Shall we move to Mars if he does it? Yes. <laughs> okay, so what is the next planet after Mars? Well, Jupiter. Whoa, that's a lot bigger. Yes, I know. Well, you remember Mars, right, from the past? This is a lot bigger than Earth. Wow, that is big. You can fit about a thousand Earth inside Jupiter. Can you? Yeah. So and why haven't we all moved to Jupiter then, so there's more room? No, because it's a gas giant. If you just step on it, you just sink through the ground. A gas giant? Does that mean it's made up of pumps? No! It's made of gas! Oh, right, sorry. I thought you meant, like, people farting. And <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. No, right. So, I'm sorry, I just didn't realise what you meant by gas pump. So, but Jupiter has the great red spot. What's so great about the big great red spot? Because it's big! And what is the red spot exactly? Well, it's a huge storm. Faster than other storms. Wow. A lot. And it's about the same size. About three Earths. I take it that we couldn't live in there then? Because you said... No, no. But on this scale, it's completely incorrect. So, you can fit three Earths in the red spot. Three Earths in the red spot alone? Yep. Holy moly. That is unbelievable. That is a lot of tornadoes and wind and but gas. But you know one thing? What? Jupiter has very faint rings. Faint rings? I thought Saturn only had rings. And Mars is obviously going to have rings because you've already told us about that. Yes. So Jupiter has faint rings. Why are they faint? Why can't you see them? Because it doesn't, it doesn't have as much rings as Saturn. Right, okay. And what are the rings made up of? Rock. 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 Like meteor rocks or asteroids or... Probably a mix. Okay. So, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about? No, but I know about another planet which should be good. Okay. What that planet's that? Saturn. Saturn. It has wow. many, 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 many rings. Many rings. How many do we know? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's a lot of things I don't know. <laughs> yes, they are. So, there's a lot of rings that go around Saturn. <laughs> right, no problem. And is there anything else that we can know about Saturn? Well, it has a hexagon on top of it. A hexagon? Yeah, a hexagon. Is that not just the way the um, the puzzle's made up? No. It actually has a, a hexagon? Yeah. That is the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. I know. Okay. I know. And, and Saturn without rings looks so weird. It does, doesn't it? So, you said that the last planet, which was the last planet again? The Jupiter. Jupiter was made up of gas and pumps. Yes. So, what about Saturn then? Is Saturn the same as Jupiter? Saturn is the same as Jupiter. So, we couldn't live on Jupiter either? No, Saturn. Because we just fall straight through it. Yes, yeah, we just fall straight through it. And inside these puzzle puzzles is hollow. Right, okay. <laughs> So, I take it they smell really bad then if everyone keeps pumping them. Uh, they're not pumps! Oh, right, see, I keep getting confused. Right, okay, is there anything else that we need to know about Saturn before we move on to the very last planet? No! Well, it has a storm, like a white storm, that's been raging for 30 years, and sometimes it doesn't happen. That is a long storm. <laughs> right, and, and the next one. The last storm, the last planet? Is Next planet is Uranus. Uranus? Uh, yes. I got an anus. Are you saying my no, anus is the size of a no, planet? No, it's a planet. Oh, no, right. Okay. No, oh, no, sorry, no. Uranus. You yeah. Ur Some people call it Uranus, don't they? Yes, yeah, so I'm saying Uranus, so none of you viewers get angry. Yeah, because uh, Uranus is a bit of a strange name for a planet. Yes. And named after someone's bud. Yeah, but Uranus... So tell me something special about Uranus. So, so Uranus... It's not like a normal planet like this, like Saturn, like Saturn. 
Why not? Well, it's sideways. Sideways? Yeah, and every single planet in the solar system has a tilt. Really? And that has to be what creates the seasons on Earth. Whoa, your fur be full of things that I never knew, man. Yeah, so, I, am I, I mean, that looks like it's got rings around it as well. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. But why, do, why is it only ever Saturn that gets pictured with rings? Well, <laughs> Uranus rings are very faint as well. Not as faint as Jupiter's rings. I know one doesn't have rings on. <laughs> is there anything else that you would like to tell us about Uranus? Yeah. Well, I don't really know that much about. I'm not really, I'm not really comfortable talking about your Uranus. I know. Right. Okay. So that brings us to the end of the video, does it not? No, 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 no. It doesn't. No. It brings us to Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you did say there was eight, and I thought we've already done seven, haven't we? So yeah, seven. No, Neptune has rings as well. Yes, it does. Oh my god! There's so many plans with rings that I never knew. And about. and it has. A great dark spot. What is the great dark spot? Well, it's like it's like Jupiter, like a like like a, like a storm, like Jupiter, like the great white spot, but it's black. Right. Okay. So is this the furthest planet there is from the sun? Yeah, and but if we go back to like two thousand six, we would have Pluto, what has a heart shape on it. Pluto has a heart shape on it. Yeah. If we're speaking back to 2006, when was, Pluto was a planet. Why is it no longer a planet? Because it's actually smaller than the moon. Right, okay. So did NASA change it from saying it was a planet to a moon then? No, to a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet? There's dwarf planets as well? Yeah. How many? Uh, five. I think we'll meet, leave that for another day. Yes, I do. Okay. Because this video is getting super long. Spy! Should the people do anything? Yes, they should like and subscribe. See Bye. you later, Picnicable. Bye!